Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day and today is Thursday the 12th and today was a lovely beautiful day outside, absolutely gorgeous weather again. Um, had to get up way too early, um, had Delilah's owner coming over to get her today, um, heading back up north with her and I'm going to miss that dog, I got a feeling. It's definitely, I missed her today even, just she became um, really just a great little dog. In the beginning it was a little bit iffy, she was kind of snappy and bitey at Bruce and really food aggressive but we got past that and she did a great great job so definitely um, not gonna miss wrapping her leg up every day uh, dealing with that the injury and stuff but definitely gonna miss the dog itself so got her um, out of here um, and basically the um, wife and daughter are gonna be staying here for at least two weeks the daughter and I think the wife's here for like six weeks I believe told them they need to hang to uh, let me know um, the dad's heading back up with Delilah heading back home and if they you know need you know suggestion on a place to eat or they want to go kayaking or who knows what to let me know so went ahead and talked to them for a little bit this morning then i had them drop off rocco which is a little pit bull puppy i'm watching um had him all day he was doing good it was a little different without um delilah here because bruce was spending more time with rocco where before delilah was kind of doing more of the motherly role with rocco and bruce was spending some time they were napping together and off and on um bruce was missing rocco hinkel or um delilah a little bit too he was kind of wondering in the house like where'd she go like what the hell so definitely um not the um, greatest um, thing there. I realize the fact that he gets to play with lots of dogs, but he also loses that companionship off and on at times too. So I'm not, I don't know, I got to weird thinking about the whole, um, whether or not it makes great sense for him to do this doggy vacay thing and the whole watching other people's animals and stuff because you do get bonded to them a little bit and you have to give them back and that does definitely suck. So, but um, overall great day though. Got a handful of things accomplished. Um, nothing really major, just simple stuff around the house and whatnot, um, taking care of things and did some researching on Craigslist, found um, some stuff I want to look at tomorrow. Karen has tomorrow off, but we have the puppy, so we're not going to be able to do anything really elaborate and crazy. We got to back here by about four ish or so uh, in order to uh, meet the owner to drop the dog off or give the dog back, I guess, technically. So um, went ahead and tried to make some plans. I, like I said, I've found a kayak I want to look at and a toolbox I want to look at, and then possibly a. Um, I don't know, some other stuff that don't matter. I guess I'll look at that and see if I make it tomorrow or not. So we'll see. Next week I have um, Pat's three dogs and the pit bull puppy, so that'll be interesting. I gotta meet her um, in Daytona somewhere area right there, South Daytona side to um, drop off and pick him up. So we'll see what happens. So other than that, um, just kind of chilled out today. Had a hand, like I said, had a handful of things to do. Um, trying to get hold of a heating and plumbing person to heat and air conditioning guy to come by and look at our furnace figure out what's going on with it since uh, what we had isn't fixing it bruce come here ignore come on but um i went ahead and hopefully that gets taken care of um like i said got a few plans of what to do tomorrow is the big concern so yes yeah, chilling out gave the puppy back and then we just kind of hung out for the night um did go get a run in i actually went and ran early uh, my plan was to get a 5k in before karen got home from work and then finish her run with her um I ended up stopping and talking to somebody about with Bruce and stuff, and that took too much time, so I didn't get my 5K in before she got here. Um, I ended up well over four miles and stuff, but it was a slower 5K in finish time because I was with her. She knocked out her loop, and we were back at the house here, and she was like, hey, what the hell? And then she realized that she wanted to keep going, so went on down, uh, made a different turn, kind of came back around. So she was the first time she actually was asking me, um, can we run farther when we got back to the house? This is the first time ever in her run. Running, that's a great sign that she was definitely improving in her um, endurance and her ability to run. So she knocked out a hank like 1.91 miles, I believe it was, instead of the 1. like three it would have been. So 1.38 something like that would have been. So definitely super excited that she's um, having fun running. So that's where we want to be. Anyway, that's all I got for now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.